Hi there and welcome to this episode of Consciousness Motherfucking Empowerment. Here we talk about consciousness, spiritual laws, and how to reach your fucking dreams. Okay, today we start on a new book, Psycho Cybernetics. I read two chapters basically. I read the preface and the first chapter, so I'm going to share my takeaways. Now, before we get started, I want you to ask yourself two questions. One, are you ready to learn and apply? Two, are you ready to reach your dreams? If you're not ready, for whatever reason, do not continue watching. You're not going to get anything from this. Okay, I recommend you go do something fun, something that makes you happy, gets you in high vibration, maybe go to the gym, and then come back. All right, and then watch this. This will help you. Those of you who said yes, ready to learn and apply, cross that white line, metaphorically speaking, and let's continue watching. Those of you who have not made, it, made the decision, get the fuck out. Get out of the gym. This is the mental and spiritual gym. All right. The first chapter is called the self-image. All right. So the self-image. What is the self-image? The self-image is a concept of yourself that you have of yourself. And Maxwell Maltz, a little bit of, about him, he's a plastic surgeon or maybe was i don't know if he's still alive um because this book was written a while back okay and he discovered that people despite having their faces sculpted more beautifully they would either be more happy right more confident or they think they'll look the same or they'll just still think they're ugly. They're like, I'm still ugly. I still feel ugly. Because they have a concept of their, themselves. Sometimes they would change after 21 days. Sometimes they wouldn't. Okay. So 21 days. Maybe I think this is where the book where they thought that habits change in 21 days. No, here he doesn't say your habits change in 21 days. He says you start getting the experience of your new face or, or whatever um, after 21 days. You, you, the new concept of yourself. Okay. It's about 21 days for it to like really sink in. All right. So a lot of you guys, you know, stay, say an affirmation for one day and then expect it to work. Your affirmations have to be said over and over and over again. Um, all right. So that's a little bit about him. And he, you know, he's an educated man. So he started researching on what the hell is causing people not to change when their faces has changed. Well, why are they still, you know, thinking they're ugly or why do they still feel ugly? and not changing why others why are others changing and it's through the self-image and my biggest takeaway here is self-talk now why is self-talk um something that i took away because he says whatever you say is what's being programmed into your and here's the next term that i'm going to teach your creative mechanism which is your subconscious mind okay he says it's the subconscious mind and the subconscious mind is a goal striving mechanism like like a cybernetics mechanism right there's a program that you put in a machine and it reaches that program like an airplane there's a program in it for autopilot to get to let's say for example los angeles to hawaii you're going from los angeles from cali to hawaii all right. You could, once you're in the air, you could go on autopilot. So your subconscious mind is just like that. It has a goal and it goes on autopilot. What are you saying? Are you saying I am rich? I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am loved. I am kind. I am loving. Okay. I am the divine design. I live heaven on earth. I am the perfect design. Or are you saying the opposite? Because if you're saying the opposite, which Maxwell Maltz says is a failure mechanism, then you will get that, okay? Versus the I can and I will because of the affirmations that you're saying, the positive self-talk that you're saying, okay? That's how things manifest into your life because of your self-talk. You're, you're thinking positively and saying and it over and over and over and over and over again. That's how when I was incarcerated, I would always say, I swear to God, I'm going to college. And I would act it out. 
okay? I would see it in my mind. I see myself walking down the, on the campus and feeling myself to be successful. And then I would read during the day. I would read during the day. My keys just came off my, out of my pocket right now. That's strange. Just like jumped out. Um, and that's how you do it. Okay. That's how you do it. Now, so those are two terms that we need to talk about today. And so in this, in this chapter, he talks about a lot of um, self-talk. He doesn't say the term self-talk. He says your self-image and the programs that you're putting it in there. What programs are you putting in there? Of Are you putting I can or I cannot? I am a success. I am successful or I am a failure. Okay. What are you saying to yourself? If you're subconsciously not accomplishing your goals, then it's because you're telling yourself you're, you can't or you're a failure. So just change it to the positive. Okay. You may not be saying it, but subconsciously there's a time, there's a past experience that has impacted you because we come in, our consciousness is blank. We're blank when we come in, into this physical realm. When I was a kid, I used to touch all the plants and all the little um, bugs. I remember when I, was, when I was first coming into um, my memory faculty, right when I was developing my memory faculty, of the memories that I remember of the, uh, when I was small, was touching things, just touching things. And I would get bit by bugs or I would... You know, get my hands so dirty because I would touch all the plants. I was like, oh, cool. You know? So, you are consciousness and you have the mind. Okay? You, you have a mind. The mind is twofold. All right? The conscious mind, that's where you can change your programs. And the subconscious mind where you put your programs in and then you operate in the physical reality with those programs. Okay? Now, Gonna share a little, a little yeah, this p paragraph, okay? Because he encapsulates something very important on how to think about this. Quote: I often tell my patients that if you can remember worry or tie your shoe, you will have no trouble applying this method. The things you are called upon to do are simple, but you must practice and experience. Practice and experience. Okay, I said that twice because I wanted to emphasize it. Visualizing creative mental picturing is no more difficult than what you do when you remember some scene out of the past or worry about the future. Acting out new action patterns is no more difficult than deciding then following through on tying your shoes in a new and different manner each morning instead of continuing to tie them in your old habitual way without thought or action. Okay. So that encapsulates a lot because he has visualizing, seeing yourself doing the thing that you want. Okay. Then acting it out. Okay. And acting it out is no more difficult than deciding to tie your shoe in a different way. Every single day. That's conscious thought. That's conscious thought because it, when you don't think about tying your shoe, that's just an old habitual thing. You're not thinking. But when you're thinking, whatever your goal, whatever your dream is, you can think it into reality. You think it, you visualize it. Now you do things differently. You're not going to go out habitually doing the same thing. Now you got to change. Now you got to start doing something different. Okay? You have to start doing something different. For university, I started reading books and started writing down definitions, started doing that, okay? How to do something with my time. The process is the happiness, okay? And his happiness is growth. That's what he's saying, okay? And again, that's another thing that I got from books on wisdom, books from successful people. Journey, the journey is the end, okay? Or that's all I, I like to say. The journey is the end. The journey is where you, where you're at, where you have to be. Okay, this is what where the this is the exact quotation. The journey is better than the end. Okay, and it comes from achieving a lot of things. I've achieved, you know, multiple degrees in higher education. 
So I said I was gonna, I set out to do that. Okay, I really wanted to do that. It was like do or die type of thing that I had to do. Um, or that I just put it in my mind, right? I put it in my mind that way. And then the other one is a successful journey is the destination. A successful journey is a destination. That's from John Wooden. I know who said that. The one I said before was from Cervantes. I don't know the first name, but John Wooden quotes Cervantes. And then Wes Watson, he, he likes to say, the man, quote, the man who takes more pride in the steps it takes to obtain the result than the result itself cannot be stopped, end quote. And then he goes on, there's a longer part, but he essentially says that, you know, we get contentment from the process. When you're in flow, you're like, time just flies. Time is irrelevant. Time doesn't even exist. You're just in flow. You're helping people. You're working. Like right now, I don't know what time it is. I don't care what time it is. I'm helping you and I'm giving you this information. I, w I couldn't care less what time it was. Okay. Well, it doesn't exist to me. All right. So those are the key takeaways. So what are you affirming right now? Okay. What are you affirming? All right. What do you want to do? Okay, what's the end result? Focus on the end result. For me, when I manifested, let's do my body because I, I manifested my body as well. I made a decision. I'm going to get in shape because I was tired of, you know, being kind of fat. I was a little fat. I wasn't too much, you know. I was fat, no muscle, soft. I'm like, man, you know, like I, I, somebody took a picture of me and I like that picture. I'm like, no, nah, that's not it. That is not it. No muscle, no definition. Look kind of fat. And my face, it looked, I looked angry. So I'm like, that's not it. That is not it. And so I decided like the next way, the next day or the next weekend, because I, you know, I didn't have to be anywhere. And during the week, you know, you have classes, you know, you got the hectic UCLA schedule. Those of you, those of you who went to college understand how, it could, how hectic it could be. Even if, in addition, it, it would be even more hectic if you had a job, okay? Cause going to school is like basically a job and um so yeah i visualized when i made a decision i visualized the body the body came to vision came to mind and a lot of people started coming okay a lot of people started coming so just follow the hunches follow the hunches and you'll achieve that goal okay so that's how i manifested my physique muscular fit body that's how i did it um so see the end you know, I, was, I didn't see myself working out, you know, I didn't see myself working out. Now, when I lift something heavy, I, I do see myself like at the end, I see myself holding it. I see myself, how do I feel? But I don't see myself, I, I do actually go through the whole thing just to make sure you know, I do it right. But um, I focus on the end. So focus on the end and then everything will just begin unfolding. If you really, really want it, you made it that committed decision, committed decision. That's key. Committed decision. All right, so write down some affirmations that you're gonna be writing down. Okay, write them down right now. What are some affirmations? Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna do that as well. Okay, what are affirmations? Do I have some paper around here? Dang, all right, that is what it is, I'll write it here. One, write affirmations for a goal. For goals, if you have multiple goals, for goals, I have a few. And visualize the end. Number two, visualize the end. And three, take action on what comes. Take action. If you get a hunch, if you get a hunch, if you hear the voice, go do this. Then go do it. If you don't, let it be. Let, let it be. Just go on doing what you think you would do no stress though i, I want to you know like for me i would it just came to me right away right for college start start reading for working out i got the vision i'm like oh shoot then i got arnold schwarzenegger and i look up physiques and look at look, and i started looking at bodies of like you know muscular men and i started looking at the body started printing it out you know subconsciously i started doing this i didn't know about visualizing and the, the operate the, the laws of success and the laws of spiritual spiritual laws right I didn't know spiritual laws and I didn't know the laws of success. They're one, they're one and the same. Okay. They're, they're a little separate, but some of them overlap like visualization and affirmation. You're using spiritual power and then visualization, visualization and um, affirmations. They, 
people who are successful talk to you about this self positive self talk and vision and having a vision visualizing okay the one and the same okay now <clears throat> Do that okay and if you don't get anything that's fine just keep on visualizing you haven't got to that vibration where you're getting the, the information just keep on doing it keep on doing it remember you st he says 21 days until like the new self image it impacts you usually it takes around 21 days uh, but he's talking about when you know people have got either a scar or they change their face to make it look more beautiful okay but here we're talking about your subconscious mind everybody's different everyone is different okay everyone is different so um keep on doing the work remember the work even this work the affirmations and the visualizing the mirror work you know listening to your affirmations with your audios this is all part of the journey and then before you know it, it's going to be manifested on the physical reality you have it the moment you're saying it, you have it because time is irrelevant in spirit you have it now in the mind you have it now okay so this whole gratitude be determined in your actions to manifest that image always going back to that image of success and you will get it all right so i hope you like this one this one we're gonna wrap it up pretty soon I have that homework for you. Write that stuff down. Write those affirmations for that success, that goal, right? I am, if it's for money, I am rich. I am earning this amount. If it's for health, I am healthy and fit and muscular or whatever it is. I'm healthy and skinny, right? I'm healthy and skinny. Um, and then other affirmations that go along with that. Um, love, I am in a loving relationship or I have multiple girlfriends or boyfriends and then the divine plan you know you, you want to get the divine you don't know what you're doing in life just ask for divine help right let me now express the divine idea in my mind body and affairs let me now express the divine idea in my mind body and affairs and quote i got that from florence global shin so i'm not going to say that it's mine and um yeah, and then visualize the the results of those of those parts of your life. Visualize them. See yourself already in possession of it, already doing it and being successful, feeling that feeling of success. I love you. Uh, make sure to like the video if you liked it. Comment below if you feel like commenting. Whatever you want to comment, I appreciate you. Subscribe. If you feel like subscribing so you can get more videos i appreciate you if you do um hit the notifications to know when the next videos are coming out and share this with someone that came to mind okay somebody that came to mind that resonated that came into your your consciousness while you were uh, watching this okay and until next time i'm really 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 <sighs> happy that i get to do this and i get to share this okay i get to share this book with you it's not an easy read but the rewards of helping you and teaching you this is priceless i love you till next time peace